what you can do is when you can move, you move, you see your directionals left and right here. They're straightforward. Uh, then you have, the, here is your coloring, and you can make it bigger by dragging that along or making it smaller, depending on what how much you want to color. It can be thick. You can change colors. Uh, then you can erase the colors. And then to get back to the board, you must click on the pen. Otherwise, it will not disable it. Another thing is uh, we have here, if you want to skip over slides, this will help you go through it faster. Let's say I want to go to number seven. I just click seven. Let's say I want to go back. I can just click the number in and it will bring me right back. Another thing that is really important to understand is that when it starts, it automatically starts muted. You activate it by clicking it to hear the background noise, which is good for the games. Let's say I want to stop the background noise. Do not mute audio. You will mute the one in the middle. Now you can restart it. And that's important because when you're playing your videos, you don't want that both of the to both of them to be going on at the same time. And then you have the choice board. They can do A or B. And again, anything you choose can become bigger. And there's your kids always like choice. So this is, these are just some really quick tips on how to use the board and how to find things fast. I hope this helps.